Hey folks, today we're doing something a little different. I'm coming to you direct from outer space. This year, the Hubble Space Telescope turns 25, and for a satellite orbiting almost 350 miles above the Earth, that's a huge milestone. So to celebrate, we at the Intrepid Museum have produced our Hubble at 25 exhibit, which showcases the Hubble's amazing images, as well as the history behind the Hubble and artifacts from the servicing missions that kept it working this long. But how does the Hubble really collect all those awesome images? And is space really that colorful? Well, that's where things get tricky. Light moves in waves, but only a small portion of those waves can be picked up by our eyes and seen as colors. The Hubble's instruments can take in many more wavelengths of light than our eyes can, but information about those wavelengths gets sent back to astronomers as black and white images. This is where astronomers have to become artists. Take the inner region of galaxy NGC 1512. Astronomers surveyed it on multiple wavelengths, but had to color it in ways that make sense to us. Some regions emit a large amount of infrared radiation, which we can't see because its wavelengths are too long for the human eye. In this image, they colored these regions in reds and oranges. Next, astronomers collected wavelengths of visible light, which they colored in greens and yellows. Lastly, the Hubble found areas giving off large amounts of ultraviolet radiation. Ultraviolet wavelengths are too short for our eyes to see, but astronomers colored these regions blue and purple. Once you combine these images, you get this. By taking wavelengths of light we can't see and representing them in colors we can, we get a more complete picture than our eyes can provide, and it looks really cool. By observing different wavelengths of light, NASA and other organizations can check temperatures on other planets, learn more about where stars are forming, and even track the movements of entire galaxies. So visit the Intrepid Museum and check out our Hubble at 25 exhibit. You can even see our educators and tour guides go into greater depth on this topic in their demonstrations and talks. Thanks for watching. Keep experimenting and exploring, and be sure to visit us online at intrepidmuseum.org.